right edition hey we deserve less government <laughs> would you agree say i say i in jersey pensioners now are getting letters asking if they're actually alive do you exist would you let us know i wonder what would happen if you called them or wrote them back and said i don't exist but thanks for the information what's up with all of that in any event this letter has gone out to four thousand retired people saying if you exist let us know please and if you don't that's okay don't let us know some people are saying it's kind of offensive it's called a certificate of existence <laughs> and we used to work for the state of jersey and the pension department has sent this out because they said we're sending money to a lot of people that although they sign the checks and endorse them and all of that neat stuff we're not so sure that they really exist and talk about a confusing letter oh boy here's one guy's 85 years old he says this it's bureaucracy gone mad you got to fill in a form and get a countersign just to prove that you exist and if you don't exist they keep sending you the money anyway because I didn't do it so says he and they're still paying me what's going on how about left is or that kind of comes to mind what's right is right and what's left is wrong and a lot of those left-wing whack guys are running the government digressing but just in case you didn't know in Sri Lankan the police there <laughs> I mean hey I've always said you know with regards to homosexuality go out and marry a bail hey I didn't think people would kind of take it a little bit further they have dogs marrying dogs the police department in Colombia they've organized weddings for groups of dogs they get the dogs dressed up these are police dogs I guess maybe that makes it better I don't know but you know nine pairs of police dogs recently were dressed or the the most recent wedding I should say were dressed in shawls hats and socks and placed on decorated platforms like those used in traditional weddings in the ceremony <laughs> and I now pronounce you dog and dog you know bark and bark maybe I don't know it's kind of interesting though they spent five hundred thousand dollars on weddings last month that a lot of people in the public are saying hey hey maybe go out and <laughs> defend us marrying dogs how do you know those dogs want to be together well maybe they're uh, driven by political kind of agendas do you think Teresa Spence she's been recently re-elected in Canada she was a chief she's the one that, that went on a hunger strike and if you look at her kind of before and after pictures looks like <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the hunger strike didn't take, but during the hunger strike, she ate soup broth and she had a variety of other fruit juices and things, other foods, I should say, so I think she's okay. But she's been re-elected. It's kind of an interesting thing. There's a population of 3,472, and of that, nearly half of them actually live off of the reserve, but of course, they're all there on the reserve when it's time to get their free little tricks, right, or treaty things, just digressing but back to this one guy said hey this is a little serious isn't it I mean what did she do for us other than get us a lot of press we got 90 million dollars in federal funding uh, over the course of the last couple of years and we're still broke and nothing's going on the chief like her they're making zillions of dollars all of these people and we're upside down she might be a household name and we don't have good households he's making a pretty good point in other words look after us and nobody seems to be doing that the financial troubles of course were highlighted after her thing but her activity I guess but, but highlighted or not they had the money they had hundreds of millions of dollars over the course of the last few years and it's all gone and they're still asking for more it isn't a nice thing how about mismanagement that would come to mind left-wing liberalism that comes to mind as well a woman recently is trying to put her life or had her life shaken apart and she's trying to put it back together she came home her house was empty how do you like that receivers came foreclosure people and they took everything from her house and she walked in and said I must be at the wrong place I used to live here there's nothing in here everything was going to live room furniture <laughs> her diploma off the wall her pictures just everything her entire history as it turned out the company of course had the wrong house these guys duh they couldn't figure out the right address I guess the repossession company was told to remove everything so they did but not from the right place so now the company says uh, hey I can't give it back to you we took it to the dump her whole life is in in the garbage so to speak I wonder what will happen there to kind of fix it they need to do something to fix it don't you think Starbucks you know you may have heard about this there's anti-gun groups that are saying Starbucks don't you dare let people that have guns come to your store and Starbucks says we don't have a position on guns we just have a position on selling coffee and if you can have a gun or a wristwatch legally and you come here and have a cup of coffee why do we care and these people are picketing Starbucks and doing all kinds of things because guns are bad when I really think the people that don't like the guns they're bad they kind of got some things missing here and they're keeping on keeping on and Starbucks has got a real issue they're saying what are we doing the gun people though good for them they're actually fighting back they're saying let's 
organized Starbucks drink-alongs. And they're going there and they're drinking coffee and they're now putting it in the face and making it obvious to those who don't like guns, right? They're sitting there showing their guns are no longer concealed. They're in open holsters, open carry. Why not? I mean, you know, if you're beside somebody that has a gun and he's legal, you're beside the safest guy alive because he had a background check today. He's licensed. He's a good citizen. Would you rather be beside a criminal and he's probably got a gun in his back pocket? Not too likely. Let me end today with this. Here it comes in a restaurant window. Don't stand there and be hungry. Come on in and get fed up. <laughs> 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 I'm going to more for you from the right. See ya.